Hey guys, welcome to this video, which is a quick look at the new NVIDIA Shield game mode. Um, you can see it here. Uh, this is uh, my ugly mug on the screen here. Um, but basically, this is um, a new feature which has just been released today for NVIDIA Shield, which I'm a proud owner of. I really like the machine, actually. I've come to really... Um, Kind of love it actually over the last couple of months and really getting enjoy enjoyment out of it. Uh, reviewed it for a couple of outlets, including uh, Wired and Stuff magazines. Um, but this is a new feature which is just launched today. So what it means is, if I go to the top of the screen, you can see that um, the bottom notification there is that uh, Shield is now in console mode, uh, which means before when you used to be able to con connect uh, Shield up to your TV, you would do it through a, um, a mini HDMI cable, which I'm currently still using and um, it would output in 720p and the screen would remain on on the device. And what this update means is that it outputs in 1080p, uh, which, you, which I'm capturing at and will upload at as well, and uh, it turns the screen off. Uh, and crucially, you can use the NVIDIA Shield um, and you can use a Bluetooth controller as well if you want. I have my Moga Pro plugged in, which is what which seems to be working. If I go back to uh, Moga Pro, just bear me one second. If I go back to Moga Pro, I can um, use a Bluetooth controller in that. Uh, sorry. Uh, to Moga Pivot. Uh, but I don't seem to be able to use it in the main system, which uh, I believe you're supposed to be able to. So I'm just, I'm just trying to iron out that particular bug. So you can see I'm controlling it now using Moga. So in theory, you can plug in the NVIDIA Shield to your TV and then use a separate controller, just use the, the shield like a like a console, if you will, and then use a separate controller to, um, oh, sorry, sorry, the video's going crazy here, to use the uh, to use a separate controller and really have a, a, a kind of sit-back sofa experience. So like I say, it outputs in 1080p now, which is good. Uh, if I go to Sonic. Sorry, there's a small delay in some of the video that I'm capturing here. Oh, I'm having to download. Quit from that. Oh, I'm quite having to do that now. Let's try expend all. So it's basically just outputting at 1080p. So you can play your Android games through Shield uh, on your big screen, which is pretty cool. Sorry, the, the menus on this particular game are pretty bad. Let's try and get through to the game to show you what I mean. So in you know if you want to use the shield like a I guess like an Ouya, then you can go about doing it. So here's the game. Uh, there we go. Yeah, you get the idea. Um, so that's pretty cool. The other um, thing, if I go back to the Android main system, is you can use Nvidia Shield now to um, output your games at 1080p on your. Um, Actually, sorry, you'll stream your PC games at 720p, uh, up to 60 frames per second. Now, I have a, um, a Steam Press account, so I have a, access to a lot of different games here. So you can see what the library's like now. In fact, you can see there that Batman Arkham Origins is, uh, is part of this streaming service now. If I have one complaint at the streaming service for, uh, for NVIDIA Shield, it's that... The app, when when your PC is doing the hard work of processing the video, then spitting it out at 720p over your wireless network, and once it hits the device, there's no lag. But occasionally, the video compression can be quite artifacty. Um, I know that's not a word, but it, I'm just playing Need for Speed before. There's quite a lot of pixelation to the graphics. Uh, also, it runs. Most games seem to run at 30 frames per second, whereas uh, my PC, you know, is powerful enough to, to run most games at uh, 60 frames per, sec per second. I have a NVIDIA GTX 670 card, which is by no means the, the most, you know, the, the most powerful or latest graphics card. But games look absolutely gorgeous on my PC playing at 60 frames per second. But they're a little less uh, slick and smooth playing on the NVIDIA Shield. But as you can see, the, the library of games here has actually grown quite large um, on NVIDIA Shield. Quite impressive, really. There's quite a lot to play on here. So if you, you, know, you are interested in picking up NVIDIA Shield and you want to play games in this way, there's plenty of stuff available. 
so there's a lot of stuff that Nvidia has released today. Uh, they've released uh, the you know the game streaming features are now out of beta. Uh, you can now output at uh, in this in the game mode, um, which is really really cool. Um, so the, the you know there's lots of stuff coming down the pipe from Nvidia that's really really exciting. Anyway, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And let me know what you think of Nvidia Shield in general. Whether you'll be picking one up after this upgrade, or if if not, why you're why you're holding off. Thanks very much for watching. I'll